for angled implants, an angle rotation guide will be provided. Seat the angle rotation guide into the bone foundation guide, ensuring that the palatal keys are flush into the palatal slots of the bone foundation guide. This angle rotation guide will help you to align the angled multi-unit abutment into the correct hex position of the implant. Based upon the implant manufacturer, a carrier for the angled multi-unit abutment may be provided by the end sequence lab, or you may need to purchase them from the implant manufacturer. Insert the hex driver into the abutment screw and the carrier screws into the top of the multi-unit abutment. Align the multi-unit abutment screw toward the blue line on the angle rotation guide. Tip and turn it into the implant until you feel the engagement of the hexes. Then hold the multi-unit abutment in place and tighten the abutment screw. Some clinicians find it helpful when possible to use a hemostat to deliver the multi-unit abutment into the implant. Again, align the abutment screw towards the blue line on the angle rotation guide and tip and turn it into the implant until you feel the engagement of the hexes. Then, hold the multi-unit abutment in place and tighten the abutment screw. Repeat this for all of the angled multi-unit abutments. Use a mirror to verify that the multi-unit abutments are in the correct position. The purpose of the angle rotation guide is to bring this blue line right up to the implant site for a better visual reference. This blue reference line is also located on the surgical guide. Refer to the photographs included in the envelope depicting the correct position. Once all the angled multi-unit abutments are seated and tightened into their correct position, remove the angle rotation and begin to seat the straight multi-unit abutments. Most straight multi-unit abutments have a plastic carrier attached to them to allow delivery directly into the implants. Additionally, many implant manufacturers will have the multi-unit abutment healing cap attached to one end of the carrier, as shown here. The final tightening is done with a multi-unit driver. Please note, often these straight multi-unit drivers are not included in the implant manufacturer's surgical and or prosthetic kits. Final torque of all multi-unit abutments will vary based upon the placement insertion torque of the implant and the implant manufacturer's recommendations. 